today I'm making a really, really easy, quick meal. Um, it's going to be done within 30 minutes. It's a lovely meat-free option. And who says that cooking from scratch takes ages? Because you're going to make your own pasta sauce and you're going to have this in and out of the oven within 30 minutes. How easy is that? So, if you are up for the challenge, get your ingredients ready and let's do this. For my veggie pasta, I've got some courgettes, some mushrooms, some sweet peppers, some olives that I've just sliced up, some onion and some garlic. I'm also going to put some sweet corn in. But again, I'm just using up what's in my fridge. So if you wanna leave out or add something else, it's entirely up to you. I've got a pan here that's already hot, so I'm going to put a little bit of avocado oil in, not too much. I've also preheated my oven to 200. We want our oven nice and hot. So I'm going to go in with the onion first. Let that cook away for a little while, let it soften up and then we'll start adding the rest of the ingredients. Onion's been softening for a few minutes so I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of my ingredients. My garlic. Get a nice little mix up. And we can go in with a little bit of pepper. got some crushed chili flakes I'm using that much but if you don't like it hot don't put it in if you like it hotter put more loads of oregano loads of smoked paprika Give it another little mix. Then tin of chopped tomatoes. Filled up the same can halfway with water. Tomato puree, loads of it. Oops. So Wee bit of sugar, and we can mix. And that is my pasta sauce. So that's going to be my base. A bit of skin there that I do not want to keep in there. So let that come to the boil and then we're going to put it on a low heat or medium heat even for about 20 minutes until my veg is nice and soft and my sauce has thickened. So while that is happening 
we are going to boil the pasta. While that's bubbling away, I'm going to add some sweet corn. And then put the lid on, let it cook for about 20 minutes. I've got salted bubbling water here. So I'm going to add my pasta. Now we want this pasta to be cooked al dente. So don't overcook the pasta, just um, leave it slightly a little bit harder than you would if you would normally be eating it straight away because obviously it's going to go in the oven and cook a little bit longer and we don't want overcooked floppy pasta. So al dente is the way forward please. My pasta is bubbling away nicely and I forgot to mention earlier that this is spelt pasta but whatever you have in your cupboards, whatever you normally use, that's fine. The pasta is now ready, so I'm going to drain it and then have a look at our sauce. So let's have a look, see at our sauce. You can see it's thickened up a lot. It's been cooking for about 20 minutes and it's nice and thick. But I want it a little bit thicker. So I'm going to cook it with the lid off for about five minutes, just thicken up a little bit more. And then we can start to build up our bake. I think we are here thickness wise now. You want it thick enough to coat the pasta, you don't want too much of a runny sauce. So it's the right thickness now, I'm just going to taste it for seasoning. Carefully, because it is very hot. That is perfect, it doesn't need anything else. So I've drained my pasta, and in it goes. And what I like to do is just add a little bit of sauce at a time because I might not need all of it. So we take half in first. Mm. Messy. And mix that in. Make sure it's nicely over all of my pasta. Now I'm going to put the rest in because I like my pasta saucy. But if you had used enough and didn't want any more in, you can jar that sauce in like a sterilised jar and use it for another day. It probably lasts up to a couple of weeks in the fridge or you could even freeze it. Right, so that's mixed around nicely. Just make sure it is flat. And I'm gonna wipe around the edges because I'm extra like that. And then I have got some grated cheddar. And 
then I've got some mozzarella and I'm just going to tear little pieces. Make sure it's spread across my bake evenly. This is a half fat mozzarella that I'm using but if you're all about the full fat then use that. It's also half um, fat cheddar as well but again if you are all about the fat do it. So just make sure your mozzarella is covering all of your bake nicely. And now that is ready for the oven. My bake has had 15 minutes in the oven. Everything's cooked, so you only really needed to melt the cheese. And if you like it browner than this, obviously keep it in for a bit longer. But there you go, there's my veggie, meat-free, really quick meal that was done within 30 minutes. If you wanted to make this vegan, you just need to replace the cheese with vegan cheese, and then it's a nice plant-based meal for you. Um, but yeah, there you go, enjoy.